Hi everybody, Keeper Eric here today, uh, Tuesday morning Keeper Chat. Uh, we're running just a second behind, so we're getting everything ready to do our chat today. And we're going to do our Tamandua veterinary exam. Um, so our vets are here from the University of Illinois, Dr. Sander and Dr. Webb. They're really um, great vets. And we're going to just do a checkup on the female Tamandua and see how she's doing. Um, just kind of like you would take your dog to the vet for a normal checkup. So let me turn the camera around. There we go. There is our female Tamandua. What's she drinking? She is drinking sparkling water mixed with apple juice. So this is Drusilla, our female southern Tamandua. And Tamanduas are a type of anteater. They're kind of a, they're a lesser anteater, but unlike the giant anteaters, these guys are arboreal. So they live up in the trees and they still go up and they find termite mounds and other things where uh, bugs would live. And they use these really long claws for ripping those things open and finding the bugs that they like to eat. Let's see if I can get her tongue. I'm getting reflection. Can I get it? There we go. There's that tongue. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, Mama. Um, I'm, not, I'm not avoiding you. So what we do is we give her this uh, apple juice and sparkling water mix to keep her occupied while Dr. Webb does the exam. So what are you doing? Can you talk about what you're doing, Dr. Webb? Jennifer has already said, I want one. <laughs> and through the magic of technology, we can bring you the sights and sounds, but we cannot bring you the smell of a tamandua. <laughs> and um, I don't know, what's the best way to describe a tamandua smell, guys? Uh, I, I, I read that it was four times more potent than a skunk. Yeah, it's, they, uh, they smell awful, I guess is the best way. <laughs> I will say, after you take care of the tamanduas, as a zookeeper, you do a lot of, is that me or was that just the tamandua? Right. The tamandua <laughs> has a, a it's, smell. It's a very strong B.O. smell. Yeah. Right. Is very yeah, it's it's not a good smell. It's, uh, um, your friends wouldn't come over mm. if you had a tamandua in your house. Um, they wouldn't be the safest creatures either because of these big claws. Yeah, let's get them. Let me get a real good close up on those claws now. So they can dig through trees with those claws. Um, imagine what they could do if they were angry or something like that if you had them in a home. Right. They would probably tear through your walls, tear through your carpet. I miss Dr. Webb was listening to her heart and lungs. And now we're going to do a temperature. Oops, she's got her tail wrapped around the table. Very, <laughs> very good example of the prehensile tail. Yeah, they got a nice prehensile tail. So getting a temperature in the bum, which is the most accurate place. Yeah, yeah, it's a little uncomfortable right now. Uh, Amanda wants to know what they eat. So they are um, insectivores. So in the wild, they do eat mostly arboreal ants and termites. Um, they've also been known to eat like fruit juices and stuff like that. That's why we've got this apple juice mixture um, that we use as a treat. But they do use that long sticky tongue to grab onto. they do onto. use that long sticky tongue. Okay. She looks great, guys. Look Excellent. All right. Uh, Nicholas is asking if she's full grown or juvenile. She is full grown. So I don't think she will uh, grow anymore. Um, we believe she is about four. Four years old. Mm -hmm. All right. Do we want to take her out for a minute? How cold wanna... is too cold. Oh, I meant just out of the room, not outside. Um, yeah, we're here for a few more minutes. Um, we can't go too long. We don't want to take up too much time from our vets because they do come up from the University of Illinois 
and um, they've been working really hard the past month or so. Um, just like every place else, they uh, are kind of short-staffed. They rely a lot on their vet students, and of course all the students are home doing distance learning right now. So um, they're really, really working hard, and we really appreciate them taking time to come up today. Um, yes, yeah, so Amanda asked, do they have live birth? They do. Yes. Um, so whenever they give birth, um, the baby will kind of hang on to them. Um, so it would kind of be like a primate when you see a baby hanging on. Um, they hang on to mom um, once she gives birth to them and she hangs out. Um, she or he would hang out on mom until they are weaned. Let's see if I can get the tongue here real quick. Yeah, there's some reports of that tongue being about 16 feet long. Inches. Inches, sorry. <laughs> That's inches a long time. Long. Uh, Amanda wants to know what part of the zoo we have our tamandos in. These guys are in the rainforest. Um, so a lot of people have already met Chloe. Chloe or Sloth, they live with Chloe. Um, they get along pretty well. Uh, these guys normally sleep in the baskets, but sometimes they kick Chloe out of her bucket. So look in the baskets and buckets when you walk through the rainforest. All right, these guys are really highly... Uh, nocturnal, which means they're active at night. And so if you come during the day, you'll probably see them all curled up asleep. Um, I think, what time do they usually wake up in the afternoon, like after four? They know four o'clock is feeding time. So anywhere from 3.45 to four, that's when they're gonna get up because they know they're gonna get fed. All right. You guys can keep throwing questions at us, but I think Grace has something she wants to show us. All right, you guys had just an awesome response to that goat painting we did the other day. Um, so we have a Tamandua painting. Um, Spike did this one, our male Tamandua. So just like our, with our goat painting the other day, um, if you click that donate button, you will be entered into our raffle um, to win this uh, Tamandua painting. Yeah. So we'll draw that um, during tomorrow's live. Uh, yep. I was trying to remember what day. We right. <laughs> um, we will... Um... Well, let's see, Brittany wants to know, Charlie wants to know where they live in the wild, where tomandos come from. So uh, they live in Brazil. Um, Spike and Drusilla were actually wild caught, so they were born um, in Brazil. Um, so they live here in the zoo, and she is going to be um, a really good education animal, as you can see. Um, but they are native there. All right. And there's a couple different types of tomandos that live all the way from Mexico down into South America. But the southern tamandos are from Brazil. Um, Melissa and her daughter want to know what their favorite drink is, and, and do they like people? Uh, this is probably their favorite drink. They only get this every once in a while. Um, they really like the carbonation and that apple juice. Um, and they do like people. Um, we are just very cautious because of those big claws. Um, they're very intrigued in what we are doing. So they're very interested in whenever we clean, um, things like that. So um, they don't mean to dig at our shoes and things like that, but sometimes they do. Uh, they, so they do like us, um, and especially whenever they are awake. Um, they'll interact with you through the glass. We'll stand by the glass because that's where they eat. Um, but during the day, um, I guess you could say that they don't like people. It was very hard to wake Drusilla up this morning. Um, she was very, very sleepy, but she always wakes up whenever we present her her favorite drink. Uh, Charlie wants to know what they drink in the wild. They would drink water, um, or they would, uh, with the fruits, as Grace said, they, they would get fruit juice. juice. Um, so they get supplemented with uh, some type of citrus every single day. So their favorite is grapefruit. Um, so they would, um, they break that grapefruit open and they dig it all the insides and they drink the juice up off the ground. So I guess grapefruit juice is I've also seen that they, they like honey. Yeah, so they drink honey. Yeah. Is it called drinking honey? Sure. <laughs> Slurping honey. Slurping honey. All right. Let's look at that painting one more time, Grace. And then I think we got to get her put away. So remember, if you donate, everybody who donates, uh, even a dollar or two, um, we'll put that in a drawing. And then tomorrow, or well, tomorrow's Shannon's day. Maybe next Maybe. week. Maybe next week we'll draw for a, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll put a note at the end of the uh, video here with, with our deadline. Um, 
So thank you so much for donating for the goats. And you'll definitely want to win this one because it's really cool. And I'll get another good shot of Drusilla. Tomorrow we'll be back with uh, Miss Shannon. I think we'll be talking, I think we're doing another Sinarthran. We'll talk about Sinarthrans tomorrow. So thanks for showing up and we'll see you soon.